Assalamu alaikum, ahlan wa sahlan language learners. You all are welcome back. And you all know that this channel, we try our possible best to provide you with detailed topics on Arabic grammar rules so you can become advanced speakers of the Arabic language and you achieve the feat of becoming a fluent speaker of the Arabic language and also a writer of the Arabic script and also somebody who can stay and understand the message of his creator and the message of our messenger, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And today we are coming with a summary of what we have discussed in the past few lessons which we has which, which we had with you. And one of these summary we are going to discuss is verbs and the types of verbs we have and also how to form the ismul fa'il, the performer of the action from these verbs and also ismul maf'ul, the receiver of the action which we call active participle and passive participle in the link placed above we had discussed this. Today we just have a summary and as you can see on the board we are still using our book Doroso Logo and we have this table there for us to discuss cause quickly even though you have never been with us if you stay tuned you are going to benefit a lot from this topic no doubt before we continue hit on the subscription button right away so you never miss any lesson from us again now let's move on we have the heading ismul fa'il wasmul maf'ul the active participle and the passive participle some really active participle it means the performer of actions formed from the verbs like the word fataha he opened. Fatihun, it is the opener. The word futiha, it was opened. Maftuhun, what was opened. Now let's look at it. We have now al fail, the type of verb. Under here, we're going to see the type of verbs. We have al fail, the verb itself. Ismul fa'il, the active participle. Then we have asluhu, the origin of the word. Ismul maf'ul, that is the passive participle. And asluhu, the origin of the word. Let's now begin. We have the first type of verb, asalimu, which means a verb which is sound. All of its letters are sound. There is no sick letter. There is no word. There is no alif. There is no ya. An example is the word kataba. Kataba. For this type of word to form the ismu file, it is simply katibun. Kataba, he wrote katibun, a writer. Maktubun, what is being written? So I can say kataba katibun maktuban. A writer wrote a written. A writer wrote something that he wrote. Now the second type of verb we have is almodoaf. Almodoaf is a type of verb which has one of its letters doubled into two. An example is the word sarro. Sarro to keep a secret or to become happy. Sarro to become to rejoice. He rejoiced. Sarun it means somebody who is rejoicing. The origin of the word sarun is sarirun, but because it has a um, double letter, that's why it becomes sarun. And masrurun, someone who is happy, someone who is being made to be joyous. Now, we have the second, the third type of verb we have, which is called al-mahmuz. Al-mahmuz, these type of verbs are verbs which has one of its three letters carrying hamza. One of its three letters is hamza. And these are further categorized into three. The first category is al mahmuzul fa, is the one which whose first letter is is hamza. An example is the word akhoda, which means he took. The taker will be called ahidun, a taker. And what is being taken will be said to be mahudun, hada mahudun. This is taken. The second type of verbs which are called al mahmud is the one which has the second letter, the ayn al kalima, to be hamza. An example is the word sa'ala. He asked, he questioned. So the questioner will be sa'ilun. Allah says sa'ala sa'ilun bi adhabin waqi. The questioner asked about the coming, forthcoming, the sure punishments. So mas'ulun, mas'ulun, the question. Someone who questioned is called mas'ulun. The third type of this type of verb is called maf al mahmuzulam, the one which has its last letter carrying Hamza. An example of this is the word Koro'a. You can see the last letter is Hamza, Koro'a. So he read, he recited, Koriun, a reciter, a reader. So Makuru'un, the book that is being written, read. Now, the other type of verb we have is what we call al-mithal. Al-mithal, these are the type of verbs which have their first letter as a sick letter, either wa or ya. 
The one which has were as the first letter, an example is the word wasana. Wasana, he weighed. Wazinu, somebody who weighed. Mauzunun, what is being weighed. And the other one which has ya at the beginning, example is the word yasaro, to make easy. Yasirun, somebody who makes easy. Mesur, what is being made easy. The other type of verb we have is al ajwaf. Al ajwaf is a type of verb which has a second letter as a sixth letter, either wa or ya. An example of the wa is the word kola. He said, yakulu, he saying. So the sayer, the speaker will be ilun, which origin is kawi. Then makul, what is being said originally, makul. The one which has ya is the word ba'a, he bought, ya be'o, he's buying, sorry, ba'a, he sold, ya be'o, he's selling. The, um, the performer of the action is ba'ayun, a buyer, a seller, which originally is ba'ayye. Then ma'be'a, what is being put, the commodity that is being sold, then ma'be'o, it is the original one. Then, the last type of verb we have is the anarchist. Anarchist is a type of verb which has its last letter as a sick letter. And it could have where at the end or here at the end. The first example is the word that are. Yeah, the um, that are he called. Yeah, the oh, he's calling. The caller will be da in or a da e. So, or it will be da you. And madu o, who is being called? Madu o, originally. And lastly, the one that is carrying here at the end is the word hada, he guided. Yahdi, he's guiding. Then hadin, a guide. Al hadi, the guide. Allah. Then Hadi originally, Mahdi is the one that is being guided, which originally will be Mahdawi, Mahda, Mahdui, MashaAllah. With this, we come to the end of the summary of our previous lessons. We ask Allah to grant us better understanding than I have tried to present it because I'm fallible. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us all of us understanding and to admit us into the Jannah of Firdaus where we shall meet with the best of humanity, the best of mankind, the Prophet Allah alayhi wa sallam. Until we meet again, don't forget to like, share with your friends, drop your comments in the comment section, and hit on the subscription button in the back of our channel. Don't forget to also press the join button you can see below to get our membership for members only perks. Until we meet, assalamu alaikum.